What's up, everyone? Welcome to the May 25th edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, use the code AWESOMO when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. You'll receive one free month of AWESOMO Plus Platinum. You'll also receive a 100% deposit bonus up to $100 on that first deposit. We only have a five game MLB slate tonight, so smaller than usual, but still going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on the awesome.com website, starting with the top three tournament stacks on FanDuel. Number three, the Chicago Cubs taking on Luis Castillo. Difficult matchup for the Cubs, but they have been surprisingly good offensively so far this year. Their active roster not only has a 110 WRC plus, but also a 167 ISO, which is uh, pretty good. So they've been surprising so far, may or may not keep up, but uh, you know, so far so good for the Cubs. The, the matchup with Castillo is certainly difficult, but he's also projected for about 32% ownership. So you do get some leverage on the field if the Cubs happen to do well. Uh, so far this season, Castillo has only struck out 18.8% of hitters, but he does have a 3.52 XFIP. The Cubs are projected for about 5% ownership with an 8% chance of being the top scoring stack and an 8% chance of being the top value stack. Number two, the Atlanta Braves taking on Ranger Suarez. The Braves are projected for 9% ownership with an 11% chance of being the top scoring stack and a 7% chance of being the top value stack. Suarez has struggled a bit overall this year after having a good year last year. He moved into the starting rotation partway through the season, continued to have success. But so far this year, he's only struck out 19% of hitters. He has a 4.02 XFIP. He has pitched a little bit better recently, but the Braves are a team with a lot of power. They also have some speed, so you have stolen base upside as well. Overall this year, Atlanta's active roster has a 102 WRC plus and an impressive 172 ISO. And number one, the Houston Astros taking on Cal Quantrill and the Cleveland Guardians. Quantrill has not been good at all this year. 15.1% strikeout percentage, 4.74 XFIP. And the Astros are one of the best offenses in baseball with a 116 WRC plus and a 183 ISO. Houston's projected for about 10% ownership with a 12% chance of being the top scoring stack and a 5% chance of being the top value stack. Now, looking at the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Ranger Suarez in that matchup against Atlanta. I mentioned Atlanta you know, has a lot of power, has a lot of speed, um, but I also mentioned that Suarez has been a bit better recently. He has struck out at least five hitters in three straight starts after not doing that in a single start before that. And Atlanta's active roster does have a 26.8% strikeout percentage. So while it is a dangerous matchup, there is upside for Suarez. He's $8,300, projected for about 2% ownership with an 8% chance of being the top scoring pitcher and a 5% chance of being the top value pitcher. Number two, Charlie Morton taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. He's $8,800. Morton has struggled quite a bit so far this year. He's only struck out 20.7% of hitters. He's walked 10.5% of hitters, which is high. And he has a very elevated 4.76 XFIP. This is a difficult matchup against the Phillies, who have a 107 WRC plus and a 171 ISO this season. But Morton does have a track record of being a very good pitcher. And it's more likely than not that he turns things around sooner rather than later and gives you starts giving you good starts. Um, he's only projected for about 9% ownership or so, sorry, 8% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring pitcher, 5% chance of being the top value pitcher. And number one, Drew, Drew Rasmussen taking on the Miami Marlins. Uh, Rasmussen is $8,600. $8, He's projected for 9% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring pitcher, 6% chance of being the top value pitcher. The Marlins only have a 3.4 implied run total. Rasmussen has struck out 22.4% of hitters this year with an impressive 3.22 XFIP. Miami, as an offense, uh, their active roster has a 100 WRC+, plus, so they've been league average, but they do have an elevated strikeout percentage at 24.8%. Uh, pretty high upside spot for Rasmussen tonight. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks on FanDuel, number three, the Chicago Cubs, number two, the Atlanta Braves, and number one, the Houston Astros. And the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Ranger Suarez, number two, Charlie Morton, and number one, Drew Rasmussen.